Who said fun workouts and exercise were just for kids? Welcome to ZooFit, and if you're not having fun with your workout, then you are doing it wrong. We make fitness fun, engaging, and impactful. But one thing's missing, and that's you. Yes, you. Let's get a little wild together with Wildlife Wednesday workouts so we can eat clean, live green, and train positive. No, that's cool. I just suck at it. Fit, fun, pins. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to another special Wildlife Wednesday. I'm PJ with ZooFit. I guess all of our Wildlife Wednesdays are pretty special because they're fun <laughs> and they're always celebrating some really great animal and this is definitely no exception we are celebrating shark week and today is actually shark awareness day so we're actually out here on beautiful marine park celebrating sharks our love for these wonderful animals that we wouldn't have healthy oceans without so we're going to do a fit fun fin workout today with our shark week uh, shark week exercises so let's go over some of these exercises let's go over the workout and we'll get started all right so today's workout it, it sounds a little bit complicated but it's actually just a lot of fun we're basically going to be doing a circuit workout 10 reps of each of these exercises and we're going to determine what exercise we do by a flip of our of our zoo fit coins we have heads or today we could do it teeth. We could do shark teeth <laughs> or shark fins. So we could do heads or tails, have six exercises in each um, for each category. So for our for our heads, we have six different species of sharks that we're gonna be celebrating. We got the hammer head shark, we're gonna be doing hammer curls. We have our bull shark, we're gonna do the bull in the china shop <laughs> exercise. We have our dogfish, it's a, a spiny dogfish, actually one of the few sharks that you can find in the Pacific Northwest. We have our goblin shark, goblet squats, our zebra shark, zebra kicks, and then our last exercise is going to be a thresher shark thrusters. That kind of might be a tongue twister. Thresher shark thrusters. Huh, there we go. Thresher shark thrusters. Now that's going to be if we, if we flip heads. If we flip tails, we will be doing the conservation connection exercises. These are going to be mostly core with a couple of little cardio bursts in there. So one, we have our eco-tourism toe touches. Two, we have our sustainable seafood sit-ups. Number three, we've got our beach cleanup burpees. Yeah. <laughs> and then for number four, we have turn fear into knowledge elbow to knee so again taking that fear and turning it into our knowledge pollution play a pollution push throughs and then last but not least one of the biggest threats to sharks is finning so we're going to be doing some finning flutter kicks so once again we're going to do 10 reps we're going to we're going to go from exercise to exercise one last final thing i, I that's not on the board is that between each exercise, we're going to flip the coin and then transition by doing either a shark dart for heads or a stingray shuffle for tails. And so we're going to just do a quick, like, uh, quick, a quick shark dart. And then a, so a shark dart is, again, kind of going weaving in, weaving out, weaving in, weaving out. And then we'll go into the next exercise if that's heads. Shark a stingray shuffle is a lateral shuffle. Our feet are pointing straight and we'll just shuffle forward and then back and then go to the next exercise. Again, just, just added more fun. So let's go over these exercises and get started. So we have our hammer head, hammer curls. So we are using weights today. You can use anything you have available. If you're doing this at home, if you have cans of beans you can totally use those as well <laughs> um, but if you have weights you can try and those use those as well so hammer curls are just going to be straight up bending at our elbow and uh, and bringing those weights bringing your arms up to your shoulders and then back down so we're going to do 10 of those 
if we get heads at number one for your bull shark in a in a china shop we're just gonna kind of go a little crazy kind of like a stampede this is a, also known as a stampede or set quick feet 10 on each side it's just gonna be a really quick really quick shuffle of our feet you can also just march in place if you need to do that for our dog fish we're gonna come down to the ground and do one of my favorite uh, variations of a bird dog we actually call the dog fish <laughs> and uh so we're gonna basically we're gonna start off on all fours just like we would for i'll do it from the side chris is gonna do it from the from front we start off just like a regular bird dog we're gonna bring our leg in point out hand out foot out and then we're going to bend that leg and touch it to the side come back in so this is going to be 10 total touching that foot bringing it back so we're going to do 10 total that's going to be our dog fish our goblin and shark goblet squats so i'm going to be going to a bench for mine chris is going to be doing the regular squats we're going to be holding our weight once again can of beans works your water bottle works whatever you want or whatever you have available and we're going to be holding it like a goblet and then coming down to a squat so i'm going to be squatting down to my bench here and standing back up squatting down again notice that chris doesn't have a bench that's fine i do that's like you whatever you need to do squatting onto a bench squatting all the way down that's uh, whatever works for you we have our zebra shark zebra kicks we've done these before on all fours we're going to do 10 total so we're going to bring five on each side we're actually just kind of trying using our hips to raise that foot raise that uh, raise that leg up into the sky and then our final one is the thresher thrusters for our heads head category thrust thresher shark thrusters <laughs> Grab both of your weights. Come back to again our squatting place. If you need to do it at a at a bench, that's great. We're gonna bring our weights to our shoulders. We're gonna squat down, and then on a weight standing up, we're gonna bring those weights all the way up overhead. Bring them back down to our shoulder, and then all the way up overhead ten times. Now for our tails. Again, these are mostly core exercises you won't need your weight for these we've got our eco tourism toe touches so we're going to be laying on the ground our feet are up in the air and we're going to reach across the opposite toe and then come back down this is just going to be nice and quick so 10 total for eco tourism toe touches for our sustainable seafood sit-ups we can do it one of a couple ways. I'm gonna show you with my, uh, again, these are also known as butterfly sit-ups. I'm gonna show you with my wings open, my fins open today. <laughs> yeah, we're doing, we're doing sharks today. We're gonna to lay down all the way, hands come to the ground, and then sit back up and touch your toes. You can also do this with your fins closed <laughs> today. Ripping a hold of your, of your knees if you need to, coming down and then bringing yourself back up or even cupping behind your knees bringing down as far as you can and then pulling yourself back up 10 of those threes are going to be our favorite it's going to be the beach cleanup burpees <laughs> so we've got 10 burpees so go at the pace that you are comfortable doing um, if you want to do them onto the ground whatever level you like we bring our hands down step or jump back come all the way to the ground push up step or jump back up hands come up overhead but once again if you need to here's a bench you can do it hands to the bench jump back do your push up and jump back up whatever you need to do that's like you and then for number four we've got that turn fear into knowledge that uh, we call i call these high knees but we're going to bring our elbow to our knee 10 times. And then we have polluted pollution push This is very similar to a sit up. Our feet are gonna be, well, they can be, you can have them spread out a little bit or, or feet together, whatever 
is more comfortable for you. But they're going to be uh, straight rather than bent. We're going to come all the way down, touch the ground, and then when we sit up, we're going to push through our legs. So we're going to even their feet are together. We're going to push past those toes and then come back down all the way. If you need to modify, you can totally, once again, come all the way down to the, to the ground. And then rather than uh, do a push through, we're gonna just get to crunch up as far as you can. So that's gonna be your, your modification for the pollution push throughs. And then finally, for our conservation connection, we have the thinning flutter kicks. So we're gonna do, this is gonna be, there's 10 on each side, goes really, really quickly. Laying on our back, you can actually even place your hand under your butt for some added support. Feet are straight out, and we're going to flutter our legs back and forth 10 times each leg, so 20 times total. And there we go. What we're gonna to do today for the workout is go through this list two times. So we're gonna do, we, ideally, we'd like to get all of the exercises, but we don't have to. We don't have to get uh, the, the same exercise or different exercise each round. But if you'd like to do this advance, I'm going to challenge you to actually go for this as many times and go through as many rounds as you need to to hit each of these exercises at least one time. But again, for today, we're just going to do this two times. Remember, we've got between each of these exercises, We've got the stingray or the stingray shuffle or the shark, the shark dart uh, to, to transition from exercise to exercise. Other than that, I got, I'm ready. <laughs> Lots of fun. You ready? Let's do this. Want more Wildlife Wednesday? Join the ZooFit Tribe on Patreon, a fan-funded site where you receive bonus workouts along with other behind-the-scenes glimpses such as interviews, chapters from my upcoming book, and even connect with other zoo fitters. The link to Patreon is in description down below. Now let's get started. All right, we, we're, we've got a lot of exercises. That's okay. I've got a lot of shark fats facts for you guys today. So we've got our first exercise, the heads or tails. We've got tails. That's going to be 10 ecotourism toe touches. Let's go. Feet up in the air. So we're going to twist. We're just doing this 10 times total. So that's five each side and 10. And then we're going to roll. That's, that, yeah, we're doing the stingray shuffle. So we got tails. And we're just going to shuffle back and forth one and then back. Go ahead. Tails again. <laughs> might, be, it might be a loaded, uh, loaded coin there. We've got a sustainable setup. We've got 10 of these. Again, with your Thin, open or closed, up to you. And again, you can always modify by bringing your fins together and letting your, uh, pulling yourself back up, whatever works best for you. But we're talking a little bit about these sustainable actions that we can take to help protect sharks. And one of the most important things is sustainably sourced seafood. All right, I'm going to actual flip. There we go, heads. We've got our shark dart. Let's go. We're weaving in and out and then back. Nice. Nice job. And I'm going to flip for our exercise number. We're just going to go straight down the tails. We got our beach burpees. 10 burpees, you've got this, your level, however you need to do it. And this is for the beach cleanup. Now, how does a beach affect shark? Well, that's again, dealing with the pollution that gets into, into the ocean. Most of our plastics, most of our waste actually ends up into the ocean and is uh, eaten by a shark, eaten by eaten by the fish, which are then consumed by the sharks. So keeping our beachways, our shores, and our waterways clean is the best way 
to help save, or one of the great ways, help save sharks. And 10, that's all you. <laughs> Our stingray shuffle. Heads. We've got number four, our goblin shark, goblet squat at your level, at your pace. The goblin sharks are pretty amazing. <laughs> Chris says that they're ugly. <laughs> they're not the prettiest shark <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. They're really fascinating. As, as, uh, as dangerous as they look, they've never attacked humans. They live in very, very, very deep water, and the interactions with humans is very low. And for transition, stingray shuffle again. Now, why am I including when I've got shark week, we got all these shark species, why am I including stingray shuffle? Yeah, Chris has got it. Sharks are cartilaginous fish, and that includes stingrays, and even uh, skates and guitar fish. So we've got our heads again, <laughs> guitar fish. <laughs> so they are, they are in the same family as sharks. We're at five. We've got five, or we've got 10 zebra shark, zebra kicks. That's five on each side. On all fours and go when you are ready. Zebra sharks are a really beautiful species. And we're ready, your turn. Tails. Tails. <laughs> Back to our cartilaginous fish shuffles. <laughs> and if you are wanting a way to ensure that you don't get stung by a stingray, one of the best things to do is to do that stingray shuffle. Shuffle your feet. Our last one is gonna be thresher shark thrusters. <laughs> And thresher, thresher sharks are another species that are misunderstood. They do look, uh, they do look kind of dangerous. They are a very shy species with a super long, we might call it a, a caudal fin. We might call these pale fins. There's actually that again that very end fin on the shark. Threshers have a very very long one. They are open water shark they don't uh, they, they prefer not to interact with humans and 10. all right we are done with round one nice job <laughs> now let's see if we can do the other side <laughs> hammer curls <Woo! laughs> so we've got our hammerhead hammer curls we've got 10 of these hammerheads are just a really incredible species. I mean, they are one of the few sharks that swim in very large schools, um, up to, again, hundreds of sharks in a school. They're one of the most distinct sharks, again, with their hammer head. I wonder how they got that name. And uh, while some people do consider the great hammer head a fairly aggressive species, very few people, in fact, only 17, have ever been attacked by hammerhead sharks. Tails, we do a stingray shuffle. And Chris is gonna do flip, <laughs> a good flip. Heads. Heads, we've got our bull shark in a china shop. Very quick. I one of the only dangerous species that's on my list that has been has been known to attack humans unprovoked. Basically, basically because bull sharks are found uh, can be found in both fresh and salt water in very shallow water, and uh, where people are going to be going to be swimming. All right, we're going to do a shark dart to transition. <laughs> if we don't trip, hi. <laughs> There we go. Yay, heads. All right. <laughs> All right, we got our dogfish. This is the last, last one we haven't done yet. 
five on each side at your level. We're stretching our, our arm and leg out and then meeting to the side and then switching sides. As I mentioned, uh, the spiny dogfish is one of the few sharks that are found in the Pacific Northwest. Now with a name like dogfish, some people may wonder, are you sure that's a shark? Yes, remember that sharks are cartilaginous fish. That makes them different from bony fish like salmon, tilapia, clownfish, and even moray eels. So they don't have, uh, they don't have a skeletal structure like, like we do. They, their whole body is made up of the same structure as our nose and our ears made of cartilage. Head. And that's heads. Or, <laughs> shark dart, yes. <laughs> now what's been um, sadly fascinating is that we have been afraid of sharks for thousands of years and not without do cause and there are people that have been killed by sharks but when you compare the number of people which is about about 15 people a year killed by sharks and you compare it to the number of sharks that are killed by humans which well which exceeds 100 million sharks every year you begin to wonder who is the greatest terror of the deep we've got our goblet shark goblet squats so we are, did not get to do our fear to knowledge, elbow to knee, but that is okay. <laughs> so whether they are fearsome goblin sharks or the very, very calm demeanor of zebra sharks, or the again, very fierce great white shark, tiger shark, and the bull shark, our sharks in the ocean deserve our respect and our protection. Nice job. We've got our transition tails, stingray shuffle, harmonized fish shuffle, <laughs> pollution push throughs. Once again, at your level, you can do the crunches or the full out push throughs. My legs are straight out and we're pushing through 10 times. So pollution is a big threat to sharks, almost as much as the overfishing for their fin. We need sharks to be nice and healthy in our oceans because as an apex predator, they keep the oceans healthy as well. So when we have healthy apex predators like sharks, like wolves, the, the prey species, like other fish, are actually a lot healthier as a result. So we got our, is that mine or yours? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, we got our tails, stingray shuffle. And this is our last one, folks. We have either thresher shark thrusters or the finning flutter kicks. Heads, as our threshers. But we can still talk about the finning flutter kicks. So with the finning, as I mentioned, 100 million sharks are killed every year. A lot of them are killed just for one part of their body and one part alone, that is the fin. And the fin has been made into a delicacy called shark fin soup. Uh, this is common in countries in Asia, but don't think this is an Asian issue. I have seen shark fin soup in restaurants around the country, from Florida to here in Washington. And 10, so sustainably source seafood, making sure that we're not consuming a product like shark fin soup, not contributing to the decimation of these wonderful, wonderful predators, Let's enjoy Shark Week, enjoy being outside, uh, enjoy nature, and enjoy your fit, fun, and fins. <laughs> nice job, folks. Let me know what you thought. And again, as always, remember to keep eating clean, living green, trading positive. I'll see you all next time.